Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. DJology, the science of DJing. Up next, we got a quick pro tip from DVDJ Paul G. And if you guys are interested in having your logo in a 3D space like in this video, leave a message below. Also guys, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and I'll leave a link for the Facebook group in the description. Thanks, check out the video. Hey guys, Paul G here for DJology. A little bit about myself. I'm a video editor for Crooklyn Clan and I have demoed the virtual DJ software at several trade shows. Today I'm going to be talking about the logo function in virtual DJ. A lot of people on the boards have asked how to turn it off. That's quite simple. This is the logo in question here. You just go to your settings, type logo, and click no. And that will shut the logo off. If you want to get a little more advanced with it, you can put your own logo there be it an image or a video file. The one I use is rendered out with the HAP codec. Big up to DVDJ Biggie for getting Virtual DJ to include the HAP codec, uh, which allows for a transparency in a video file. I'll just show you that real quick. You can change a bunch of things about it. You can change the size, location. I tend to leave it in the bottom right and at medium. The HAP codec thing will only work in the 64-bit version of Virtual DJ. If you use the 32-bit version and try this, you'll get a black box around it. Uh, so a workaround for that is to turn the logo off, have somebody render out one for you, with a logo with the HAP codec, and put it in the sampler. Go to your sampler editor, and just set it to loop, save, and then do that. So you'd still have... Your logo playing, if you're using a 32-bit version of Virtual DJ, just use a sampler instead. So that's a quick tip from me. Be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for DJology. Join the Facebook group. Ask any questions you have of us, and we'll do our best to answer them.